hailing from right here in Nottingham, representing Nottingham MMA, is Alareza Javan Mardi. I'm just going to have to call him Ali. He's coming out. He's got all the victory. He's got a chillin' song. Nelly and Kelly. This is a 61 kilo bantamweight fight. And bantamweight is one of the best, well, in my opinion, one of the best weight categories because you have a lighter weight fighter, but they hit with a ton of power. This is 135 pounds for you joining us from across the pond over there in the States. So the size of a, you know, a fairly stacked eighth grader, really. I got the black Here we go. So we've gone from the pro ranks, and now we're okay. And now we're into the amateur ranks again. So a few changes here. Eight ounce gloves are going to be worn. They're just a bit thicker. Can cause some problems when it comes up to locking up chokes or guillotining. Though there's always ways around that. No knees to the head, standing or on the ground. No elbows to the head at all. No twisting foot locks or spine locks. And that's pretty much it, folks. You can head kick, you can punch to the head standing, and there's always a finish in the cards. Hailing all the way from Ireland, representing KFIT, Paul Stewart. Not a load to say about Paul. Other than, you know, he's coming to bring it. And every time we've had Irish fighters, they always love wearing the Irish flag. They represent, they, well, they've got, they represent, and of course they have a huge amount of pride in their country and their fighting prowess. And they always look here, not just to take part, but in the great words of Conor McGregor, to take over. So Paul Stewart looking to come over here and spoil the party for the, party for the Nottingham native. Ali Reze. Nottingham MMA. You know, Nottingham has boasted some excellent MMA fighters from Paul Semtex Daly to Dan Hardy. Just a great history of, of mixed martial arts, of fighting. Even Carl Frock came from Nottingham, hailed from here. They've got a huge, a huge background, a huge city and town behind them. And they're always willing to rob from the rich to help their poor, their poor records. So will it be Alareza or Paul Stewart? that'll be victorious today. And I can tell you, Paul Stewart's come in in spectacular shape. Alareza looking a bit, maybe a bit softer, a little less mature in terms of his physique, but that never is an indication. It's not a bodybuilding contest after all. The amount of walking I have to do, Steve, it's exhausting. I know, you you're see in and out. the man in this cage? You are looking very, very good. <laughs> Here we go. Ali Raza, Jevon Mardi. Man, Paul Stewart came in in great shape. I was just remarking his, his physique, and he's just used it against Jav Mardi. Yeah, and KFIT Ireland, a really good team, very focused on the jiu-jitsu. And uh, it's starting to show pretty yeah. quickly in this fight. Unless there's a heel hook entry here for <laughs> Jeff Marty. <laughs> but like those that. are not allowed in the amateur ranks. I was just getting through that, I think. Super optimistic. Kick up the bottom there, chopping legs, just causing a bit of a bit of bother really. Paul Stewart leaning over him looking to land a big left or right hand. Oh up kick Steve. Very I did, nice. I did like that, yeah. Using his feet to keep the dangerous Paul Stewart away. Now Paul Stewart coming in 0-2 as an amateur here, Steve, trying to get that first jump in a win column. Doing well so far. Yeah, he's, he came out with a very, very good strategy, backed him up with strikes and took him down. And he's, now he's eating heels, unfortunately. 
Weird leg entries. Very interesting technique there from the Nottingham MMA standout under head coach uh, Paul Lukowski. He's an Isle Alliance BJJ black belt in his corner. Ooh. He's also got his Muay Thai coach Owen Comrie, former British Thai boxing champion, but he is not using those Thai boxing skills here, Steve. He's playing some Daily Heaver guard. Yeah, he's advanced. just inverting and having some good old times. I'd like to see him actually, like you see, there's a... Stand up, really. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a tripod sweep and an next sweep. I'm, uh, I'm known for my leg lock, Steve, and I would stand up from there. Yeah. This must be exhausting for both fighters, but I think Jav, Jav Marty is... Yeah. No, he pulls just expending loads of energy when you should just try to push off and stand back up, maybe. Yeah. I mean, good strategy from Paul Stewart. He's in a dominant position. He's controlling, passes the legs nicely there. I mean, there's the danger of those up kicks, but he's relatively safe as long as he keeps that posture of leaning back away from the legs and then just chooses moments to pop through, land some strikes, kick the legs, win the round. That's what it's about. Yeah, and well, we've already wasted two, well, spent two minutes of this round. Paul Stewart on top, kicking the legs. Javin Marty on the ground, kicking the legs. Uh, K-Fit Gym in Ireland. They have so much jiu-jitsu on their timetable. It's, it's kind of something they're known for, it's just MMA and jiu-jitsu. It's not like a, you know, some gyms are Thai boxing and MMA or something else in MMA. K-Fit, they're all jiu-jitsu and MMA. That's their style. So he probably feels quite confident here playing in the open guard of Jeff Marty. We wind down this first round, 15 seconds remaining. It doesn't look like a finish is on the way. Unless Paul Stewart can land a big right hand and just eat it right through. Now Paul Stewart's last fight, it was a, it was a round two KO loss to uh, Thomas Zawilla on Cage Legacy. And that was only on uh, the 10th of June, not very long ago. But he's jumped straight back in. And, uh, will tenth, he be able to did you mean the 10th of May? I meant May. 10th of June. Oh, last year. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> a while ago. So he's had a little, a little time out. I'm very, my fight knowledge is great. My month's not too good. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Everyone's got their own little. <laughs> and uh, I mean, the thing is as well with the K-Fit guys, they traveled all the way from Ireland. Just the commitment to do that. You're going to train hard. If you're you're going you're gonna to travel across, get on a ferry, pay the money, travel all the way here to the beautiful town of Nottingham. Okay, historic, no. historic town. There we go. We'll just say Nottingham. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> put it all on the line. You know, you're going to train hard for that. And that's what we're seeing from this K-Fit standout, Mr. Paul Stewart. And we got multiple K-Fit fighters on the show tonight, Stephen. I think they're pretty new here to Battle Arena, but I'm, uh, I'm already impressed. Good technique, good takedown, good composure. And it's one of those things, it's quite hard to train for up kicks in the gym because you can't put the full force. It's kind of somewhat instinctual. You can only really do it when you're going full force in the cage. I wonder how Jevin Marty's going to try to deal with that forward pressure from Paul Stewart. Paul Stewart might have a bit of a mouse over his right eye, might have eaten one of those heels. I mean, he's the most Irish looking man I've ever seen, but doing very well. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's like a it's like a tie between him and Van Morrison. <laughs> oh, Jeff Marley with his heavy kicks. Like this. Ooh, baby, baby. And this is what I thought could be an issue with these K-Fit fighters coming over here. They don't have a dedicated tie boxing class. I thought, what's gonna happen if they end up in a war of swapping leg kicks. Well, somebody's given up the clinch, and that's Javin Marty here, whereas Paul Stewart's much, much better positioned to either take it to the ground. And now he's taking it to the ground, he's all tied up in the legs. Well, Javin Marty's just he kind of, he's playing like a, a, almost a sports jiu-jitsu fighter that likes playing guard, and it doesn't have much of the interest in the wrestling. Just wrong positioning. And sometimes and that, that's a mistake. I mean, if he catches the submission off his back, that's all well and good, but this is mixed martial arts. We need all the aspects. And you need to have forward pressure. You need to be initiating it and causing it to happen. Right now, Paul Stewart's on top. Two rounds in a row. First round definitely went to him. Second round now, and he's controlling him. He's got his head pushed up against the cage, even in his own corner. Javin Marty's trying to get his hips moving, but with the head against the cage, it's hard to finish anything. And... Uh this is, yeah, that's the thing. You, in, in a, in a jiu-jitsu class, in a normal gym, you would work, or you'd move away from the wall, make space, or in a, in a lot of grappling matches, they reset in the middle. Not in MMA. It's the, it's the fourth martial art, being able to work up against the cage, and it makes it so difficult to work off your back, to make space. And that's why we've seen the rise of fighters like Khabib that are specialist cage wrestlers. John Marty talking. Am I allowed to swear? Less talky, more fighty. <laughs> yep. I can't say talking shit. I don't know if I can say talking shit. I'm said pretty, it twice now. Pretty sure he was talking shit. Yeah. He was talking shit. 
Yeah, we got an 18 year old beside us. He's letting us know. Oh, there we go. Left hook lands. Oh, Javin yeah. Marty oh. has to settle down again. Minute now remaining in that second round, and Javin Marty hasn't done anything really to differentiate himself from a guy who's on the bottom. Kicks the leg again. He's got to watch the knee. I'm sure that's what Paul Stewart's. Paul okay. Nichols is saying to him. I'm glad the. Uh, production team here at Battle Arena has got some young blood coming in. It was starting to look a little bit last of the summer wine. Yeah, there was a bit of... Uh, it's got some youth. Some some achy joints. So they <laughs> came down from those, those ladders. The ladder. It's the ladder. That's the thing. It takes it out of them, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they can hear us. Criticizing. Big kicks. <laughs> 30 seconds. No, less than 25 seconds remaining. But this is not how I saw this fight going at all, Steve. I thought the Nottingham MMA fighters are usually so well versed at everything but Javan Mardi's skill set has looked very good in certain positions but very limited. He just seems to be accepting yeah. a position that isn't doing him any help and there you see he stands up quite easily there but with five seconds remaining there's nothing to be done here. Yeah there's another there's no stick round for Paul Stewart and the there. Irish shorts I'd be so frustrated right now as his corner now the uh, the team at KFIT, I'm uh, I'm travelling to Ireland the first week of the school summer holidays. I can't remember what day that is, but j the summer for a week. Uh, I do uh, seminars. <laughs> I'm KFIT, no. So anywhere out there in so Ireland, any Irish team, specifically KFIT, I'd love to come. And if you don't want me for a seminar, I won't take it personally. But I'd love to come and train with you. Just jump in a session. I'm too old to get hit in the face, but I have a little role. I know you do a lot of jiu-jitsu. Uh, I'm a Roger Gracie black belt. I can do a leg lock workshop for you. Whatever you, whatever it is you want to work on, Steve shaking his head to that. Lay it on thick, there, Chris. Lay it on, Chris. You've got to be your own biggest salesman. You definitely, you definitely are. You definitely <laughs> are. When I get the booking from K Fit and I get to hang, and they're gonna, they're gonna take me to the proper Irish pubs, not the touristy ones. Yeah, one. yeah. I get. I have a real Guinness with the K Fit crew after teaching a seminar, and the K Fit crew. I have a deal on the seminar. You charge whatever you want, as many people as you want, and I'll just split the money with you 50-50. That's my deal. So it's a win-win for you. Roger Gracie Black Belt coming to your gym. I should do infomercials. You should do. <laughs> you can do mine. Steve is cringing at this. He just hates a little it bit. so much. I'm just hoping that this fight starts again <laughs> and that we actually have a fight. There oh, we go. No. Paul, the most Irish looking person in the world, Stuart. <laughs> and Javin, off my back, Marty. It's a long fight name, but it is descriptive. A bit herky jerky from Paul from Paul Stewart here. You think oh, look at those elbows are high. Yeah. Javin Marty then looking to stomp in. Everything seems to be mailed <laughs> seven days ahead of time right now from both fighters. This they is go a strike and he lands in. Yeah, He's in this the, is in smart again from Stewart. Try and get the takedown. Repeat of round one and two. Although Javin Marty now with a bit more control turning in. His fatigue starting to affect uh, Paul Stewart. He had a lot less pop in his strikes. Neither fighter owning any sort of head position there against the cage, which is why they're able to reverse each other like they're doing the waltz. K for crew to book your seminar. Go to yep. at Chris Fenson BJJ on Instagram. Training knees. This is nice. They've been standing up a little bit more. I'd like to see either fighter get the head position. There we go. We got it from Paul. There and now the takedown is imminent. Rinse and repeat for Mr. Paul Stewart. Let's see if he can get a little bit more domination here on top, whether he looks to cut or. Do you know what I like about this, Steve? Paul Stewart came into this fight 0-2. Oh he stuck with it. He's learned from those losses. He learned from that second round KO on Cage Legacy. He's improved. He's made the adjustments. And he has looked fantastic in this fight. I'm just so happy that Javin Marty decided to stand up before the last 10 seconds of the fight. Yeah, I think he's finally listened to his corner. Oh, huge takedown, though. Oh, but is there, oh, is there hands together in the guillotine? guillotine? I don't think his hands are particularly tight, though, Steve. No, he could do that whole, like, push-up one that John Jones does. Right from there, but I think he just doesn't quite have the angle. Yeah, you actually want to angle the other way, and the cage is in the way. Yeah, he lost seemed to be now. there momentarily at the beginning, and then it's also a guillotine. So a guillotine for our listeners is a uh, viewers is a front. It's a headlock round the other way, essentially, kind of backwards headlock where you're facing their body, and you don't just want to squeeze it, but you want to squeeze and turn their neck. And when you twist someone's neck, it's very hard to have strong muscles. It's hard to tense a muscle if it's twisted. And that makes it much more easy to finish the submission. It's also a battle of getting your hands together so you can use one hand to reinforce the other. And these big padded amateur MMA gloves make that very difficult to do. I think Javon Marty's just got to throw caution to the wind here, Steve. And feet on the hips, make space and try and throw some bombs or something. 
Yeah, there's nothing really happening here, and his guard is locked too low. Uh, Owen, yep. Owen doing Palmer well. Paul Stewart's doing really well. He's just cr crowding him up against the cage. He's throwing throwing punches in. This is not exactly a great start to a night that has, well, a lot of not of Nottingham MMA <laughs> prospects coming through. We've got two more right in the right in the wings. Here we stand up again. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and we'll have to go back to the judges' scorecards. Not to be Nostradamus or anything like that, but I feel <laughs> like. This could go Ireland's way. They're having a big cuddle in the middle, just exchanging some final words of respect between Paul Stewart and Javin Marty. I think the Irish flag will be held high here again this evening in Nottingham. Take a moment to say that MMA Battle Arena Nottingham is brought to you live by Power Grip Sports. By Fisticuffs Podcasts, Supology for all of your supplement needs. Or your support needs, pardon me, your support. Supportology. And Direct Taste Sport. So, welcome. We're going to go right to the uh, judges' scorecards. Javin Marty's speaking into the camera. He's just kind of holding his hands up. Well, man, it was up to you, man. It's, if it's meant to be, it's up to me, as they like to say. You had a good couple opportunities there. you got to stay in the fight. You can't accept being in a bad position. Being on the bottom means you're losing most of the time. We'll go to Chris with the official announcement as the two fighters are called to the center cage. I couldn't see it going any other way. Paul Stewart with the victory. Three rounds of amateur action. And we're going to go back to the welterweight division next. 